Hello everyone and welcome to FSX. Um, I took uh, everybody's recommendation and I didn't, well, everybody's. There was a few recommendations. There were some pretty good ones. One of them was to go to Texas. I had another one to go to the Grand Canyon National Park and I actually, I kind of wanted to save that one for later for like a helicopter trip or something. But I did have a very interesting one and that was to go to British Columbia. So that's where we're headed today, British Columbia. Let's uh, get going, because I'm not 100% sure how far we have to go, but I think it's a long way. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, yeah, distance 760 nautical, god, we're going to have to probably land for fuel. This might be a long one, but let's get underway. try to make the trip without stopping for fuel. I'm not sure how far this plane will go. It, it might go the whole way on, on a tank of gas. I don't know. Try to be nice and smooth as we take off. Oh, oh. Alright, let's get back in the plane. There we go. Off to British Columbia we go. This might just be a long, long video. I'm not 100% sure. the altimeter set. We'll put it on auto. We're set for 2,000 feet. Oh, hello. Ay, ay, ay. What's going on here? Get me back to where I need to be. Climb. We're actually going to climb higher than 2,000. I'm going to bring it up to about 15,000. And there's Nick. Great. Okay, we're going to bring it up to 15,000. Looks like we're having trouble climbing. Jeez. Why is it wanting to go down? up above these wind shears manually, I guess. Woohoo! Off to British Columbia! This plane actually does get pretty good fuel mileage, so we might be able to make the make the trip. Okay, we're up to 2,000 now. Let's level off a little bit. Let's see if we can get our autopilot to go ahead and take us up to our 15,000 feet. Looking good. Okay, we're still climbing. Oh, oh. Leave that crap on. Don't turn autopilot off, stupid. Okay, we're climbing and we got 753.8 nautical miles to go. Um, I don't see where it tells me how long it's going to take to get there, but it's probably going to take a while. We might just uh, have a look at some scenery. Zoom out my GPS and make sure we're going the right way. 
Yes, it appears we are. We've got to go through Oregon, Washington, and into British... Co um, we're not going to... Somebody was... A, it was an island, I believe, was the recommendation. We're not going to go there because... Well, we might go there. I didn't see the listing on the airport, but I did see a British Columbia listing, so that's where we're headed. Wow, I think this is going to be a real, real long flight, you guys. Hopefully it's not too irritating. We might just split it up into a uh, couple of different um, YouTube episodes. It's a good looking plane. I really like this plane. I've downloaded a whole bunch of planes. I like this one. All these lights are flashing. Yeah, I like the plane. Like it a lot. Uh, let's. Gosh, get get right here. Let's turn. Uh, our lights on but we will turn our let's turn our landing lights off how's that looking I'll leave the rest of those on for now I'm not a hundred percent sure what the uh, norm is with Light, so we'll just leave those on now. Throttle back a little bit. Save some fuel. It's time to settle in for the long haul. This is, like I said, this is probably going to take uh, more than one episode. What are we at? We're almost 5,000 feet. The weather is absolutely beautiful today. is a good looking plane isn't it I did turn my textures up a little bit um, I turned all of the graphics up a little bit I've been playing with them um, it, it actually it seems to to stress my my PC a little bit uh, not too much if I turn all the graphics up all the way it's kind of weird for like an eight-year-old game or whatever this is however old it is for one this old it's kind of weird for it to stress the computer but uh, I mean my computer's more than sufficient but I don't know fifty eight hundred almost six thousand feet right around hundred thirty miles an hour so yeah, British Columbia sounded like a uh, sounded like a good place to go. So that's why we've decided to head there. I'm not a hundred percent. Like I said, we might be hurting on fuel. Oh, come on, come on. We'll have to see. We'll wait till we get down to 
20 gallons or so and then we'll start worrying about it. Until then, we'll just fly straight through. Like I said, this might take more than one episode. I think it'd be smart to uh, take more than one. I don't think... Uh, I'm just assuming we're uh, at 130 miles an hour. We're probably looking at a couple hours at least to get to British Columbia. Um, I mean, you can see the distance ticking away right there. That's our distance. And, uh, yeah, probably not something everybody's going to want to sit and watch for all that time. thousand feet over oh, down to 129 speeding back up. I think we'll just stay. We're at full throttle right now. I think we'll probably just stay there until we hit our 15,000 feet and then we'll throttle back. Get there a little bit quicker. <laughs> 735.4 miles to go. Point, ooh, point 0.3 now. Look at that. I wish it gave me a time. Some of the other airplanes give you an ETA on the uh, garbage screen there. This one doesn't appear to do that though. Look at all the sights. Not many sights. We're up in the mountains now. Or kind of around the mountains, I guess. silent for a little bit and work on 15,000 feet. Check out the scenery until we get there and continue our journey.
you can see there we're closing in on 11,000 feet. Got about 4,000 feet to go before we level off and we're actually burning some fuel. Kind of surprised how much we're going through. Not used to it going through this much, but didn't seem like the last trip it went through this much, but we'll probably save quite a bit once we throttle down once we hit 15,000 feet. Not really much to look at out there. Maybe we can head up to Alaska after this and look at some of that countryside. That kind of uh, depends on you guys really, I guess. some weather down there. Is that a river, maybe? Some fog in the valleys. thousand feet we should pick up some speed once we uh, get to 15,000 feet as well we'll be using more of our power to go forward instead of going up See on the GPS, there's a few little airports around. I don't know if you guys can see that on the screen, but got a little one here. Not sure if those have fuel on them, but we're not going to worry about fuel right now. Closing in on 13,000 feet. Terrain below us. Looks like a road there. Windy little son of a gun. passing soon right over my hometown right where we took off from Westover Field probably be passing a little bit to the east of it though Looks like we're going to be flying into some weather up ahead. We should uh, should be above it though. Almost.
close to 14,500 feet. Be leveling off soon. leveling off now at 15,000 feet. Right there, 15,000 feet, and we'll start picking up some speed. Assuming if we stay full throttle, I think we'll get upwards of 170, 180 miles an hour. <coughs> that should help us out uh, a little bit on our journey. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just keep it full throttle for a while and uh, see how long our fuel lasts us. I mean, it's going to last us a while no matter what. The plane gets pretty, pretty decent fuel mileage. You can see on the right side of your screen there that we've used almost 10 gallons. We've got. Yeah, how long, how far have we gone? About 100 miles, maybe, close to it. Ticking the miles away pretty darn quick now. Uh, so yeah, we should, we should be good to go for quite some time still. Let get closer to those, closer to the inclement weather ahead. some of the terrain you just want to dive down in some of those valleys and then go and look look at it you know and just see what's there but I'm sure there's probably nothing there well, we're actually moving pretty good just below 170. sure you know I try to uh, I try to aim for 20 or 30 minute videos but I'm thinking for this FXS series that that I've got planned here that maybe longer videos are are necessary I'm not 100% sure yet I haven't even thought of a schedule or anything for it while wow, we're getting close to those clouds um, oh, look at that terrain that's awesome Look at that. Yeah, I haven't even 
haven't even really thought about it yet too terribly much. Uh, this will be the second one this week to go up. So, I mean, I should probably back them off a little bit, but at the same time, uh oh. At the same time, I'd like to put as many out there as I can. So, yeah, anyway. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, you guys, as always, can let me know what it is that you want to see with this series, where you want to see it go, what do you want to do, and uh, since I really doubt we're going to hit British Columbia on this episode, maybe this would be a good time to start thinking about where you want to go next. Now, we're going to be landing in British Columbia. Should, should we... What do you want to do? Should we head up to Alaska? Should we... Maybe go somewhere a little more tropical. What, what do you guys want to do? Leave a text comment. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll choose a spot um, to go next. Oh, hello. We'll choose a spot to go next. Now, you probably saw that fog appear below me there. One of the reasons for that is I've got a uh, realistic weather enabled. Oh, wait. Where'd it go? Disappeared. I have realistic weather enabled, and every 15 minutes it downloads the current weather where where my plane is um, off the internet. So you might see that change from time to time and that's that's the reason why yeah might end up climbing a little bit higher um, simply to stay above these clouds. I'm not 100% sure. We might be okay right where we're at at 15,000 feet, but there is a chance that we, we might jump up to 20,000 just uh, for shits and giggles, I guess. And the road down there, that's probably the highway that leads to my house. Hey, where'd it go? close to my house right now, uh, according to the GPS, we're not far away from it. <coughs> Excuse me. Six hundred and seventy six point three two miles. Oh, hello. Got some turbulence going on here. that air quite a lot about my altimeter. I'm not 100% sure what it's about, but I just do what it says and hit B to fix it when I see it.
appears to be a little bit breezy up here. be a long, long trip. coming up on Lake Tahoe here after a little bit maybe not in this episode but in the next one at least just decided to divert to Lake Tahoe and check out the sights, go and uh, buzz the lake a few times and see what it looks like from, from an airplane.
not quite sure if that's the lake right off here to our right. Or if the, I think that's the skyline. We might have to drop below the clouds to see the actual lake. But, <coughs> excuse me. I think we're going to have to save that for episode two because we're running about 40 minutes into this episode already and I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch it all day. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you uh, join me next time where we'll go look around the lake and uh, possibly have an emergency refueling somewhere. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time.